Meghan and Prince Harry expecting an apology before agreeing to peace talks. Meghan Markle and Harry's relationship with the royal family has been rocked by multiple allegations leveled against the institution over the past two years. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are expecting an apology from the royal family before agreeing to peace talks, an expert has suggested. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have leveled a series of allegations at the institution claiming to have been left to fend for themselves against public pressure. Commentator Jonathan Sacerdoti suggested the couple would be amenable to negotiations with the king to rebuild their relationship, but warned they would face considerable resistance before, because of the swipes they took at the royal family. Sacerdoti said, I think Harry and Meghan have said they are expecting an apology, but I think there aren't many people who agree that it's due that way round. Some of the individuals within spare, the King, the Queen and the Prince of Wales all come out of that book so badly. They are so broadly criticized by Harry, so nastily criticized in sections that I think they could be feeling very sore about this. He told US Weekly that but above all else, I think they might also be feeling that they just want to keep quiet because they don't want to provoke any more of this sort of thing, which is damaging not just to them emotionally but and also personally, but to the nation, because this is an attack effectively on part of the constitution of Great Britain. The suggestion comes as reports emerge suggesting the king has asked the Archbishop of Canterbury to broker peace between the Duke of Sussex and his brother William. The Prince of Wales is reportedly concerned about Harry and Meghan exploiting Charles' coronation to pull the stunt to attack attention to themselves. But according to the Daily Mail, His Majesty has expressed concerns that Harry and Meghan's absence at the coronation would be a greater distraction than their presence. The King is seemingly prepared to make concessions to persuade them to attend, including handing Harry a high-profile sitting position inside Westminster Abbey during the coronation service. A royal insider said the issue of substance is whether they attend the coronation and if they do, under what terms and conditions. The family is split and all the indications are that Harry is being advised to agree to nothing at this stage and play it long right up to the last minute, which is making negotiations with him very difficult. Harry's camp made clear that the idea that he would just attend the coronation and behave himself, but then can be stripped of his titles was a total non-starter. They added that why he might decide at some point to discard his titles of his own vol volition, he objects to the idea of being forcibly stripped of them. He, re he resents being lumped together with Andrew in the public mind as the two problem pr princes when he considers the circumstances to be totally different. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were last in the UK to attend the late Queen's funeral in September. They had previously attended the Platinum Jubilee celebrations last summer, during which they appeared only once in public with the rest of the royal family. During the Jubilee's Thanksgiving service, the couple were notably seated in the SL opposite other leading members of the firm, taking place next to junior members such as Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie.